Hello and welcome everyone, it's PC Noob here with another episode of my Banished Let's Play series. We're back in the city of Mondo today, taking a look at all the awesome things going on here. We have over a hundred people farming food for this luscious population and all our demands. We have really expanded quite a bit over the last few episodes. And I'm eager to see what the future has in store for Mondo. Let me just speed time up. This guy's name looks like Thor. Thor has become an adult and is working as a laborer. A merchant in town. Let's see what they got. Chestnut bean seeds. Not too interesting. Thank you. Last episode, we managed to get three sheep here. Uh, two chickens, which have reproduced and tripled their numbers up to seven Wow! out of a possible twelve and we have three sheep here uh, we started with two so they're slowly reproducing we have a decent amount of food in the area about 18,000 units of food it's only early winter so we still have a few months to go last episode I also put up a new mine uh, I believe it was this one which is maxed out getting iron from peoples. We'll have to keep an eye because this quarry is just about done. And huh. Whoa, what? But oh, this mine is just about done. So we should probably look at a new area for a quarry. While well, we have people build it. And once the quarry is built, these fifteen people will not have a job anymore. So it's probably a good idea to have something ready for them. Uh, I increased the limit on the iron because I had reached the maximum holding potential, storage potential. So we want quarry. And now it's a matter of where we want quarry. Um, we don't want it like too far out. At the same time, don't really want it taking up a lot of room. I'm thinking maybe over here. That'll really expand things over this way. Um, what about up here? We actually rotate it so it's like can do. Probably hurt the hunting in the area, but we must. Let's do it. It's going to require oh, the three last remaining people. Sucks. We're going to keep a really close eye on when somebody passes away. Like that just happened. Like I said it was going to. So we need a trader and a farmer. A farmer. A one trader. Gives us only one builder at the moment. So I'll just keep a close eye on that. As much as I want to speed time up full capacity, just do a little bit at a time. Really use with some more peoples. Wink, wink, and a wink, wink. Alright. Not this time. Definitely use some more nomads though. 82 there, 329, so a lot, over 300, 310, 313, or 311, something like that. Maybe we can always use more. Lots of chickens, so we're probably getting eggs now, uh, might even be getting chicken meat. Just keeping an eye on everything, and hoping one passes away. Ooh, our cemetery is full. They are great full. Wow. We're going to need more cemeteries and another pasture, hopefully. Uh, don't have any free pastures to split up the sheep, even if that was an option, which it doesn't seem to be. But that would definitely use some more pastures or any new livestock that comes in to trade. 
we have really expanded ourselves quite a bit. Um, tempted to kind of cancel the quarry. Well, then again, when this quarry gets shut down, which should be very soon, 2% remaining, those 15 free people will be able to build a new quarry, and I'll probably have them build a few homes too, just so we can get our numbers up a bit more, so we have a few spare laborers. Pardon me while I take a drink. So that should be coming up, maybe by the end of next year, I'm not too sure. Time back up and hope that open passes away. Hopefully, some of these students mature. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. We got a uh, lost vendor. So, that goes our last builder. Um, okay, so yeah, that person became available. I might lay off a few of these stone cutters. Probably be a smart idea. And then hopefully they can get the next quarry ready for this one is kaput. And maybe even get a few homes in for them. Plus I have three spare people to fill in positions in case anyone dies. Oh, another spare person. Spare. As if they have nothing better to do. Yeah, it's going to take a little while for them to get this place ready to go. Might look into making a home or two somewhere. I don't know. Do it. Two more people. Not a problem, not a problem. We got lots of spare laborers, extra people, extra hands. Uh, we got 13,000, 13 and a half thousand units of food by the time spring rolled back around. Now we do have to wait until fall before we see bountiful crops, but in the meantime we have numerous amounts of fishing docks, we have hunting cabins, we have a whole bunch of people willing to help. So that's good news. So only three people there, three people. Three sheep, three sheep there, and eight chickens now. That's awesome. I'd definitely like to get some more chickens. Um, they seem to be pretty sustainable. Probably, probably easy to keep going. We got a home in the quarry uh, in the works. Few spare laborers. I uh, might put a couple and do a stone cutting. We'll try to keep a few people available. Uh, probably max that out now. And we have two spare people and five builders. Uh, some of that farmer died. And we still have spare people, so. Wow, we got lots of spare laborers now. I uh, might even consider putting more homes in. Shocking, I know. Ooh, two right there. Awesome. Looks like, yeah, they just finished that home. People are already moving in. A little bit elderly of a couple, but, you know, hopefully they'll have some babies. Not too bad. We get good population growth here. Maybe even some more nomads would be very nice. Trees, uh. Trees, uh. Falling? I don't know how. I don't know what the word was I was looking for there. I couldn't find it though. Crop field and vet. Belt infestation. Awesome. This one? Uh, harvest. Harvest, please. Before it spreads too much. We only have one spare labor, I think I'll lose some. Maybe a couple of miners just in case. 
or uh, stone cutters. Stone cutters. Mm -hmm. Got lots of homes in the works. Trees are trumbling. Trees are tumbling. That's what I was say, trying to say. He trumbling. Oh, another crop field has got an infestation. Um, this one, harvest. Be an early season on the crops, but that's okay. Wow, seven and a half thousand years of food. I mean, we have a ton of fields. Surprising, we are that low on the food resources, but then again, we do have a lot of mouths to feed now. One coat, not really needed. Iron tools, leather, wool. Uh, what are you willing to trade for? Bale, my goodness, sir. Probably quite clean this guy out. One coat, uh, 50 of them. Thousand. Uh, 100 of these. Yep. Uh, 100 of that. And, uh, 200 of that. There we go. Trade. Wow. Let's clean that guy out. Got a bunch of extra resources for CD Amondo. Um, Peter Project. Probably this home. Yep. Elderly couple moving in there. It must be the nomads that, like, because they didn't have a home to reproduce in when they first arrived, they kind of grew old and then didn't have any babies. So hopefully there's still time and they can make more babies. Babies. Quarry still not even uh, cleared yet, so probably won't see that until next episode. And they're starting work on this home now. Oh. Five builders, five laborers. I right, did max out that stone cutter. Awesome. Thing seems to be pretty good. What is this dude doing? He's like sitting there or standing there. No, sit. They don't do anything. They just run around, chop, run around, chop. Uh, another field is well, infestation, harvest. Yep. Harvest all that food. Now. Now. Wow. That would give us a bit of an early crop, but it'll also probably give us a smaller crop. This one? They're already harvesting it. They're harvesting that and that and that. <clears throat> yes, yes, I guess. Ah, he's drinking Dr. Pepper. Lots of crops in this area. I think they're harvesting this stuff already. Yeah, we know those four are infested. Don't worry about it. I have a few spare people, but I mean... Hmm. I don't know what to put them into. What to do to keep them busy. Everything's maxed out. This quarry is just about done. That's We got more laborers, even more, more laborers. Um, don't know what to do with them though. More laborers, wow. Um, I'm thinking about reemploying the brewer, but I don't want that affecting our food. Can we put more hunters in the cabins? Oh, we can too. Let's try that. I'm hunting cabins, but yeah. Another one. Yeah, I think I got one over here too. Yep. So that'll give us a lot more food, leather, uh, but it increases the potential to extinct 
and wildlife in the area. Not a huge concern, really. Oh, how much extra fire would we have? Uh, let's increase this to 750. That'll move some of the resources here over into tradable materials. Uh, firewood seems to be working, so it's good to have lots of that around. I'm getting livestock that way. We want to have a good surplus of tradable materials. Um, we have a lot of iron now. We have a lot of extra tools, coats, decent amount of stored medicine. Not a whole lot. Average happiness of the citizens is low. Well, that's because they're missing all their ale. Uh, let's re-employ it. It's just the apples we're using. Re-employ you too. Keep it busy, keeps the ale flowing, keeps people happy. And ale has been a very good material to trade with, so I can't see a reason why not to have a lot of it around. Yeah, you're trading materials over there. You see any? You see any ding dong? Try to speed time up, although, I think I have to wrap this episode up pretty soon. I got a few more minutes. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. Uh, it means a lot to me. It gives me a lot of incentive and motivation to put more videos out. It lets me know you guys are interested in this series and you want to see more of it. This is episode 63, if you believe. Um, I've been playing this game and doing videos on it for quite some time now. I don't see many other Let's Players or YouTubers who have had their Bandish series go this long. Maybe I'm um, stretching it out a bit, why I like to speed up time quite a bit, but I don't know. I don't really know how to compare myself to how well others have done at this game, but I think I'm doing pretty good. I'd like to see the population get even higher, get up to like 500 and then even a thousand. That break of influenza has occurred. Awesome. Go the doctor. So you'll have to tune in next episode to see how this turns out. Uh, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Stay up to date with all these videos that way and find out what's going on in all my Let's Play series. Uh, that includes Banished, of course, Minecraft. Hopefully be getting around to some Starbound and going to be starting a Skyrim Let's Play series, I hope, very soon. I'm very eager to play that game, so I'm looking forward to that. You guys should be too. Yeah, time to wrap it up. From everybody here in the city of Mondo, I'm PC Noob, and until next time, as always, have a good one.